Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, and to the men, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. And I'm gonna make this lesson simple, man. Get with this truth or wait on a missile. All right, and two-thirds of our people. That's what they're waiting on, pretty much. They were born in vain. They're going to be destroyed here in America or wherever they dwell in in the world, all right? But if you jakes out there that understand this truth and, and are kind of on the fence, hey, get with the truth or, or, or wait on the missile. That That's 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 pretty much the the the, the, uh, the, uh, the message in this lesson, okay? You, you know, if you, you know, you're not sure, hey, man, just just go do what you got to do. Go, go live in the world. Go try to... You know, make some money in the world, start a business, or whatever you niggas do, all right? Because the truth don't need you. The truth don't need someone that's just on bull, bullshit and pussyfoot around, man. You know, hey, be about this or or, or don't, okay? Because hey, hey, the Lord needs the, the the Lord needs workers. The Lord needs teachers, all right? That's gonna go uh, bring forth uh, 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 um, what does scripture say? Uh, 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 fruit, uh, fruits meek for repentance. Okay, bring forth uh, uh, the elect, okay? Because a lot of people out there that know about this truth, but they just, you know, they, they wait and they think they got time. You don't got time. Because all the time you waste not fully turning to your Ha'abashim Yahweh and, and doing what you want to do, thinking that the truth is going to wait for you, hey, the truth is not going to wait for nobody, okay? The truth is, is 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 is, is um, you know, the, this word is moving fast, and the elect is being woken up at, at, at a fast rate. All right, and, and and if you know about the truth and and you bullshit around and it, and it skips past you, hey, that that was your that 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 was your that, that's your fate, okay? That was your lot. All right, to 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 come into the truth and then fall out, or know about the truth and not fully turn to your Hashem Shai, so he can destroy you. All right, so let me hop right into the scriptures because pretty much, man, a lot of you niggas just waiting on the missile, man. You out there partying and bullshitting, think you got time and. You know, uh, uh, the Lord going to wait on you. The Lord's not waiting for nobody. Okay, you on the Lord's time. All right. This is Baruch chapter four and verse 28. It reads. For as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. You got to be seeking the Lord 10 times more. You got to be seeking the Lord daily. All right. You got to be contemplating these scriptures. All right. You have to fear the Lord. You have to fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Shai all the time. All right, and that's the problem with our people. Our people fear the Lord when shit go bad, when 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 somebody die, they want to get into the scriptures, they want to read the Bible, you know, you know, they want to get in. But but when everything is good, when you got your PPP loan, you got your stimulus check, you got your child tax credit money and shit, hey, y'all niggas are thinking about the Lord. All right, that's why two thirds are waiting on the missile, or right, waiting for judgment. All right, and the judgment is going to come down on our people first and foremost. That's what you Jakes don't realize. The judgment, hey, Esau going to get judged. That's nothing. The judgment is going to come down on Israelites. All right. This is uh, 1 Peter 4 and verse 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Who is the house of the Lord? Israel. All right. You so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, or so-called Native Americans. That's where judgment is going to begin first. All right. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Okay, so the judgment is beginning at the house of the Lord, all right, um, amongst you Israelites. I mean, that's why you see in Jake getting jacked up. You don't see all these other nations getting shot down by the police, all right, getting fucked up. You know, excuse my language, but you don't as much as us because we're still under the curses and that's judgment. Okay, but the ultimate judgment is coming by the missiles and by them chariots. All right, and all you jakes out there that's sitting around bullshitting, thinking that the words that the prophets are speaking, we, you know, we, we, you know, the things that we speak of are, are far off; they're never going to happen. Not in this lifetime, you niggas is in that yellow spirit. Hey, you're going to catch a missile. All right, you're going to feel that burn. All right, you, it ain't going to be like a shot in the head and you just die, you know, and you, you just out of there. No, you're going to feel every second of that burning from those ICBM missiles and that concentrated fire. From them chariots, because the Most High is bringing judgment, all right. And it's, and it's Jake's out there that that know that they're Israelites, all right. But they don't really fully believe believe it. And even if they do believe it, they not fully turn unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. They still got something in this world they're holding on to that they wanna that they wanna do, okay. 
instead of turn to the Lord, instead of, you know, uh, um, give the Lord 100 percent. OK, don't give the Lord 50 percent, 75 percent. The Lord demands 100 percent. All right. You want to get you if you want to be delivered, you want to be uh, receive salvation. You want to receive 100 percent of salvation. OK, you want to be delivered from the perils. You want the Lord to save you. You want the Lord to uh, uh, um, fight for you. All right. Hey, you got to be 100 percent down for you. How about Shema Rashad? This is Ecclesiastes chapter five and verse seven. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Most High come forth, and in all thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. We're coming into the day of vengeance. All right, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. All right, don't put it off day to day. Like, ah, I'll read later. Ah, I'll go down to the camp um, next week. Or right, or the brother be out there. You ain't got, you don't got time. Because all that, that 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 procrastination, your ass can get judged the next week, thinking you're gonna walk out to the camp, or think you're gonna watch video and shit. The Most High put your ass in a hospital, all right. The Most High gives you some type of pestilent disease, all right, where you can't see, where you can't hear, okay, where you can't hear the words of the Lord, you can't see, you can't read the words of the Lord, okay. That that that's 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 the that's the terror of the Lord, okay. And that that that's, that wrath is coming from you, Hashem Yahushai. It says, in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. Right? We think you straight, all right? And, and, and you in Esau society, you, 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 you living it up, all right? You just got your, you got your, um, your digital ID, you got your vaccine, you got, you know, everything lined up like you want. And then that's when the, you're going to, uh, that's when the wrath of the Lord is going to come forth. Okay? Let me grab this in uh, 1 Thessalonians. Uh, was it 5? Five, 5 and, I'll start at the top. But of the time and the season, brethren, ye have no need, I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right, you, hey, you're not gonna know, you're not gonna know those that are on not on the watch, those that are bullshitting, those that are uh, um, you know out there lollygagging and and, and 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 thinking that they got time. That's those are the ones that's gonna uh, the Lord is gonna come on like a thief in the night. The, hey, the, the prophets, the elect. The elect already know what time it is. The elect knows we're in the day, the last days. The elect, the hopeful elect know that we're in the last days. The hopeful elect knows that, hey, this is the day of the Lord coming. All right, verse 3. For when they say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. This is the same thing with the scripture said. All right, uh, in, in thy security, in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. Same thing. In your security, when you feel most secure, all right, that's where you're going to be destroyed. The, the secure place is in the... In the uh, secret place of Yahweh Bashim Shah, which is his truth. All right, this is this is the secure place right here. This is because as long as you got the Lord dealing with you, as long as you got the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, nothing can come against you. The scriptures say, "No weapon formed against thee shall prosper." Okay, verse five, verse four. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should not overtake you as a thief. That's talking about the elect, the hundred and forty-four thousand and one third that are not in darkness, that are in the light. Ye, verse 5, you are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not, we are not of the night nor of darkness. All right. Those that, that's out there bullshitting that don't want to get with the truth, that, that know about the truth, they're they continue, niggas are still continuing in darkness. They look over to the, the they look over to the light. They're looking at the light, but they said that it's too bright over there. You know, let, let me stay over here. Let, let me try to stay uh, 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 um, right by the light. Think may, 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 maybe. No, it ain't, it ain't, you got, either you come all the way over or not, all right? And you can't, ain't no in-between. Ain't no in-between being uh, um, lukewarm as the scripture. Let me grab that. This is Revelations 3 and um, 14. Mm, yeah, I'll start at 15. I, I know thy works, Revelation 3 and 15, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot so because thou art lukewarm neither cold nor hot i will spew thee out of my mouth so if you trying to you know if you on the on the you got one foot in the truth and one foot in the world the lord ain't dealing with you the lord is going to spew you out of his mouth all right N niggas just sitting back just thinking everything is good everything about to open back up man esau about to hit you niggas with with, with with a hammer man all right he about to hit you with that death blow all right and only thing the only thing that is, the only thing that's gonna save you, you know, at that, at that point, you a lot of you niggas is, is, is through anyway. Oh, the only thing that can, can save you is this truth. 
all right, is repenting, turning back to the Lord, all right, uh, um, fully repent, all right, fully turning to the Lord, not not half ass, all right, not 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 you know the Lord you know throw you a bone and, and, and pull you out of trouble for you to go right back into bullshit. No, you got to fully turn to the Lord, all right. Because it's gonna be gonna be a lot of death out here. That's what people don't realize. It's gonna be a more death that you ever seen in any any movie, anywhere. This is um, actually, yeah, I started uh, Second Ezra's five, excuse, Second Ezra's eight in verse fifty, and it reads, "For great misery shall be done to them in the latter times, shall dwell in the." It's like y'all start from the beginning. For great misery shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And that's our people walking in great pride, not turning to the Lord, pretty much turning your back on the Lord. You hear the prophets, you hear the words of Yahweh Shem Shai, but your pride won't let you turn to the Lord. Okay? You, that, that, that prideful spirit that you Israelites have on you won't let you turn your wickedness, turn from the world, turn from Esau, and turn to the Lord. All right, that's why a lot of you niggas is going to be destroyed because you walked in great pride. It said great miseries. All right, let me look up this word miseries. I'll just look it up in the, the dictionary real quick. Because this is what's coming to a lot of you jakes, man, miseries. A state of feeling or great distress or discomfort of mind and body. You're going to have, all that's going to happen to you. Unhappiness, distress, wretchedness, hardship, suffering, affliction, anguish. All that's coming to children of Israel. Two-thirds of the children of Israel, That that's that's they that's got to be destroyed because they won't hearken they won't turn they won't they won't return from their stiff stiff uh what is this uh a uh, uh, stiff uh uh, uh stiff neckedness i'll say that all right this is um second ezra's chapter uh, 9 and verse 15 it says i have said before and now do speak and i will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than them which shall be saved it's going to be a lot more dead bodies than those that be saved, all right, it's going to be a lot of, a lot that's going to perish out here, all right, a lot of you niggas is pretty much waiting on a missile, you up there bullshitting, you partying, you having a good time, you, 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 you're, uh, you, you're living to your, your, you know, your flesh, okay, not being spiritual, all right, you see the prophets, you see the truth, you see the prophecies, all right, the prophecies of the MOTB is right around the corner, you see that, you, you, you know, you can see the Everything going cashless. Everything Esau doing away with a uh, um, uh, uh, paper money. Okay, you can see the hyperinflation taking place. You see the gas prices going up, but you niggas still looking for a way out. Except this truth. All right, thinking that you could find a way out instead instead of putting your faith in your look in the Lord. Okay. Let me see. Um, oh, let me grab this. This is what's taking place right now. You know, yeah, I was shy. And them angels and his missiles is going to get busy. But Esau, they're going to get busy on a lot of you niggas too. And that's when Esau start coming down with that great wrath. That's when a lot of niggas is going to try to turn to the Lord. All right, that that knew about the truth that, you know, hey, hey, we got we to gotta, we gotta come together. And nah, man, it ain't, hey, <laughs> the Lord ain't dealing with you. The prophets, they, the, 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 the prophets ain't dealing with you. Because you a lot of you niggas had your chance, okay, to turn to the truth, to turn to the Lord. All right, but you forsake the Lord. You want to do your own thing, okay? Um, so back to back to um, uh, Ezekiel. Excuse me. Um, I want to read this Ezekiel twenty-one and nine. Son of man, prophesy and saith, Thus saith the Lord: Say a sword. A sword is sharpened and also furbished. All right, that sword is being sharpened by the person that 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 was born with the sword, Esau. Okay, and he's not just sharpened just to show show off. All right, to go to a a, a you know, to, to show off and show everyone how sharp the sword is. No, they're going to use it. Verse 10, it is sharper to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contempteth the rod of my son as as every tree. All right? So, so hey, this is all this is going on. Esau's coming down with great wrath. Esau's planning all this shit out to come against you Israelites, to come against the truth. Should we make mirth? Should we just be act like everything is all good, that, that, that you know, you know, this shit is not never going to happen. That's a lot of niggas think. The thing that never happened in our lifetime. The dollar will never crash. I heard a nigga say that. The dollar will never crash. You know, I don't see the dollar crash. Oh, I don't see America being overtaken as, you know, their military. The military is too strong. These things are going to happen in this lifetime. Okay? And, and the niggas that think like that, and, and, and they're going to catch them. They just wait on the missile. 
the most high is going to preserve a lot of niggas that and, and, and deceive a lot of these niggas to think that the most high is dealing with them just to get them that just to get them all the way to that final judgment which is that ICBM missile that thermonuclear missile all right um Let me grab this. Uh, what was it? Um, oh yeah, Ecclesiastes. Because this is the spirit of this is the spirit of our people right now. All right, our, our people are thinking that you know um, everything is good. All right, they don't. You niggas got a short memory. Do you understand what just happened last year? All right, and, and the global elites they they're not about to let this opportunity uh, 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 pass them by. They got this is full go for them. All right, but you niggas have a short memory. They Esau just shut this shit down and had you niggas begging for stimulus check. Had you niggas scrambling to make ends meet. All right, to to to, to um you know try to get uh, unemployment and all that shit. So don't think they won't do it again. But it's going to be at a a, a a higher rate. It's going to be like a C nineteen on steroids. Okay, the 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 the, the raft and the um, the raft that's coming to you, Jakes man, in all American, all really all the world. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to the go to the house of feasting. For, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to heart. I'm going to jump down um, to verse uh, 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. You, you, you're being mirthful right now. You're a damn fool. Okay? You, our people should be in a, a mournful type of spirit, all right? We should be in a, a spirit of repentance, all right? Asking the Lord, what what else can we do to to, to please you? To, what what else can we do to receive salvation? That's the, that's the spirit that our people should be in right now. But what are our people doing? You know, looking for the next party, looking for the next turn up, looking for, you know, uh, 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 another way to do some wickedness, all right? Looking for some goddamn... Um, uh, 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 you know, a way they can get a government grant. You know, and this nigga shit, man. Our people not in the state of mourning. Are we? We are in the state of mourning when the shit hits the fan. When when stuff starts going bad, hey, it's not a hard transition. All right, you're not going from, um, you're not going from a a, a, a state of uh of mirth to a state of confusion in an instant. You're already in that state of of mourn a uh, mournful state. All right. I had a few more scripts. Let me see. I want to grab this. I want to jump a verse over because a lot of our people think that the Most High, um, the Most High, forgot about their wickedness. That the Most High a, 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 is not going to eventually judge them for their wickedness. That the Most High is just a, a man that you know he forgives, but he does forgive, but he ain't forgot. All right, and if you repent. Great, all right. The most I want you to repent, but a lot of our people they repent and they still go back to the same bullshit. So I want to bring this out. This is Ecclesiastes chapter eight, in verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right, just because you ain't got jacked up for some wicked shit you did, don't think the most I forgot. All right, because a lot of our people they'll do shit and then they'll repent. All right, but at first and foremost, they're not repenting under the right name. They're not repenting under Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. They're repenting, calling on Jesus Christ or Allah. All right, so they're going off right there. But our people do wickedness. All right, don't think they that think that just because they hadn't got jacked up, just because the, they ain't got judged. All right, they haven't suffered the consequences of their wickedness. That the Most High forgot about it. The Most High ain't forgot. Verse eight, four, verse twelve. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. All right, those that fear Yahweh by Shema Shai, that, that repent and turned away from their sin, turned away from their wicked life, put away the old man, came fully into the truth. All right, those that the Most High is going to, you know, forgive their sins. All right, but those niggas that, 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 that didn't, all right, that think the Most High forgot, all right, that, that continued in their wickedness, the, the, the Lord's going to judge them. Verse 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked. And this is going for the wicked of Esau, Edom, but also the wicked of our own damn people. All right. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. All right. So, hey, the Most High, I forgot the Most High is going to, is going to, um, is going to uh, um, make you pay for your wickedness. All right. The, the, our people. 
Okay, so basically, you know, hey, get with this truth or or, or a missile with your name is 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 you ask you're waiting you're waiting on a missile with your name on it. All right, it will, for you're waiting on your destruction. All right, and and Jake think that you know destruction is not destruction, but Jake think that 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 getting put to death is easy. Hey, the Most High is gonna put you to death. The 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 the, the way that you fear the most, okay, and, and hey, hey, that's that's that, that's what it is, man. So you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto you. By Hashem, Until next time, I say shalom.